Welcome to day two. And day two, we are going to be talking about the water element. Now, the water element is actually the first element of the five elements. It is the beginning of life. We know we come from water. Um, the cell comes from water. And so this is um, this is an interesting personality type. So what I want you to do is to actually experience a little bit of this and just see how much you res resonate with. See if you resonate with this personality type in people that you know, people who may be close to you. Do you get on with this? Do you feel like you can sink into an imbalance of this water type? Let's just have a go. And then what I'd like you to do is put your thoughts into the Facebook group. Let's just explore. I want you to have a sense of what this personality type is like um, because it is very different to the wood type. Um, it is a part of who we are. As we said, we are 20% of all of them, but you might be sort of only showing a very small amount of this, or you might be very dominant in this one. You may be very, very dominant in this type, okay? So let's just come into the space. Just find a nice quiet space just for a few minutes, allowing your feet to really plant down onto the ground. Just really feel as if you're connected to Mother Earth. Imagine that you've got your feet on the grass or the soil or even the beach. Roots coming down from the centre of your feet, the toes, the balls, the heels, spreading down and spreading out. Feeling safe, feeling supported, feeling secure within yourself. So important for us to have our roots firmly connected. And then just imagining now that you're also connected as above through upwards into the higher realms of consciousness. So imagine maybe you've got this beautiful golden white light that's drawing you up. Oh, I feel like you're shifting my energy. And just stretching, just elongating through the vertebrae of the spine, keeping that back nice and straight, drawing upwards. And I'd like you to imagine this personality type of water. What does water mean and feel and sense like? What do you get a sense of when you think of water? What do you see first? Do you see calm water? Do you see flowing water? Do you see really stormy water? Do you see gushing water? Water, we know, holds the wisdom. It holds memory. It can be good, vibrant, energetic water. It could be very stagnant, smelly, lifeless. So where would you fit into this? Where do you feel? If you could have a scale or be sitting on a seesaw, would you be right in the middle of that seesaw in total divine balance, feeling calm? Enjoying time alone, which is what water's like. In enjoying that time when they're in the balanced state to think deeply about different topics, maybe do some journaling. Very much in the mind, just thinking, thinking, thinking. Very creative. Very joyful. There's a baby sort of um, archetype to this as well, which is very joyful, very playful, very, very sort of like wanting cuddles and that sort of thing. You know, just like a small child would. How do you see yourself as that? Or do you see yourself sort of swinging more to one end of that seesaw than the other? Do you feel that maybe sometimes you get too isolated? Do you get maybe a little bit egotistical, slipping to the other end? Do you slip into fear and anxiety of, oh my God, what's going to happen next? I can't cope. 
Do you slip into that mode where everything feels like it's in a rush and you don't rush? A water doesn't necessarily rush. A water very often can be very late for appointments. Feel into the energy of this. What is your water like? Where are you on that slidey, slippy, slidey seesaw? Which end would you say you are at, the more stressed end, where you feel that you're going into that fear and anxiety and not sure about what's happening and fear of judgment? Or do you get a bit egotistical and nothing really matters and I'll do it my way? Or are you more in the balance where you're observing you're communicating more effectively because you can say to somebody, actually, I can't do it by that deadline, but I can do that project and finish it by whenever that might be. Where is that flow? Just sit in there just for a minute and, and just see what comes to you. Are you in that gushing water? Are you in stagnant water? Or are you in the flow? Are you in the beautiful flow? And then when you're ready, when you feel like you've got a clear idea of what your water element feels like, generally based, and just allow yourself to rub your hands together. Oh, making my energy shift around, just rolling your shoulders around, just moving your body because sometimes actually the other thing the waters do, they don't want to move and they need to move, but maybe they just get snuggled up on a sofa and they just stay there. They may stay there for hours and hours. Is that you? Or do you need to get up and move? Waters generally do move at a slower pace. I definitely have. A different view on the clock. Normally they'll be late. <laughs> they won't be on time or even early. But just bring yourself back into the room when you're ready. And I'd like you really to think and feel and sense and know what does this feel like? What does it, if you are in water, do you like water? Because some people really do not like water, wouldn't even want to put their big toe in it. Are you comfortable with that water? Are you comfortable fit, nurtured? Or are you more in that fear, that anxiety, the what if that's going to happen type of experience? Many, many people are. We know anxiety, fear is such a big issue these days. But I want you just to really feel into that and then we'll talk about this more as we have our live session. So I'd love you to write in the comments under day two, hashtag day two, what you experienced with this little journey that you had and we will discuss more. Okay, have a beautiful day.